Hey, everyone! Welcome back to Money Nation. Today, we're diving into a topic that we're all guilty of. Those things we say we'll do, but let's be honest, probably won't. We've all been there, right? So, grab a seat, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and let's explore the five things we all promise ourselves but struggle to follow through on. 1. The Gym Dilemma How many times have you told yourself you'll hit the gym regularly only to find yourself a month later with a neglected gym pass? We'll explore why we make these promises and the hurdles that prevent us from turning them into habits. We've all been there. The surge of motivation, the new gym shoes, the resolution to sculpt a new you. Yet, somehow, the gym visits become rarer than a blue moon. Let's break down the psychology behind our well-intentioned fitness goals and the stumbling blocks that turn them into unfulfilled promises. We often set unrealistic expectations for ourselves, envisioning a complete lifestyle change overnight. The initial burst of enthusiasm wanes as the reality of consistent effort sets in. Understanding the psychological impact of goal setting and incorporating gradual changes can make the journey to the gym less daunting. Beyond the mental barriers, finding a supportive community can be a game changer. Whether it's a workout buddy or joining group classes, the sense of camaraderie can transform the gym from a chore into an enjoyable social activity. We'll delve into the importance of social connections in sustaining healthy habits and explore strategies to make the gym a place you look forward to. Moreover, we'll introduce the concept of gamification, turning your fitness routine into a rewarding experience. By setting achievable milestones, celebrating small victories, and incorporating elements of fun, you can reshape your perception of exercise. Let's turn the gym dilemma into a success story of perseverance and positive reinforcement. It's essential to acknowledge the role of external factors in our gym resolutions. The demands of a busy schedule, unexpected life events, or a lack of accessible facilities can hinder our commitment. We'll discuss practical solutions to these challenges, such as incorporating micro-workouts into your day and exploring alternative forms of exercise that align with your lifestyle. 2. The Reading Resolutions Raise your hand if you've ever said you'll read more books this year. I know I have. But why is it that our reading lists keep growing? while the time we spend reading remains stagnant. Let's unravel the mysteries behind our unfulfilled reading resolutions. Book lovers unite! We all aspire to be well-read, yet our bookshelves grow under the weight of untouched novels. What's the deal with our perennial promise to read more? And why does it often end up as wishful thinking? The digital age has ushered in a myriad of distractions, from social media to streaming services, diverting our attention from the books we long to devour. We'll explore practical strategies for creating a conducive reading environment, minimizing digital distractions, and carving out intentional reading time in our daily routines. Moreover, we'll delve into the concept of setting realistic reading goals. Instead of overwhelming ourselves with an extensive reading list, breaking it down into manageable chunks, and celebrating each completed book can make the process more enjoyable. We'll discuss the importance of savoring the reading experience rather than treating it as a checklist. In the quest to read more, we often neglect the importance of variety in our reading choices. We'll encourage exploring different genres, authors, and formats to keep the reading journey exciting and diverse. Let's transform reading resolutions from an unattainable ideal into a pleasurable and sustainable habit. It's crucial to address the psychological barriers to consistent reading. Procrastination, lack of focus, and the allure of instant gratification often sabotage our reading intentions. We'll introduce effective time management techniques tailored to enhance reading habits, such as the Pomodoro technique and creating designated reading spaces. Additionally, we'll explore the benefits of joining book clubs or online reading communities. The sense of accountability and shared enthusiasm can turn reading into a social activity fostering a supportive environment for achieving your literary goals. 3. The Healthy Eating Illusion Eating healthier is a classic promise we make to ourselves, but the allure of fast food and the comfort of our favorite snacks often get in the way. We'll dig into the psychology of our food choices and how we can bridge the gap between intention and action. Ah, the eternal quest for a healthier diet, a journey filled with good intentions 
colorful salads in the imagination, but often concluded with a familiar pizza delivery. Let's explore the psychology behind our food choices and discover how we can make mindful eating a reality. Our relationship with food is deeply rooted in emotional and cultural aspects. We'll investigate how societal norms, emotional triggers, and convenience influence our food choices. By understanding the psychological underpinnings, we can make informed decisions and build a sustainable, health-conscious eating routine. One common pitfall in the pursuit of a healthy diet is the misconception that it requires elaborate meal planning and strict restrictions. We'll debunk this myth and introduce the concept of mindful eating, an approach focused on savoring each bite, listening to hunger cues, and fostering a positive relationship with food. Incorporating small, gradual changes in your dietary habits can lead to significant long-term benefits. Meal preparation plays a crucial role in maintaining a nutritious diet. We'll provide practical tips for efficient and enjoyable meal planning, including batch cooking, choosing diverse recipes, and involving friends or family in the process. Let's transform the illusion of healthy eating into a sustainable and enjoyable lifestyle. Moreover, we'll explore the connection between nutrition and mental well-being. A balanced diet not only contributes to physical health, but also influences mood and cognitive function. We'll discuss the impact of specific nutrients on mental clarity and share insights into creating meals that nourish both the body and mind. 4. The Procrastination Pitfall Procrastination – The Silent Killer of Productivity We all want to be more efficient and meet our deadlines, but why do we find ourselves repeatedly pushing tasks to the last minute? Let's uncover the root causes of procrastination and explore strategies to overcome it. Procrastination – The Foe of Productivity We've All Wrestled With We'll delve into the reasons behind our tendency to postpone tasks and the psychological intricacies that transform us into last-minute warriors. Understanding the science behind procrastination is the first step towards conquering it. We'll explore the role of the now and future selves in decision-making, shedding light on why the allure of immediate gratification often trumps our long-term goals. One of the key contributors to procrastination is the lack of clarity in goals and tasks. We'll discuss the importance of setting specific, achievable objectives and breaking down larger projects into smaller, manageable steps. By creating a roadmap for your tasks, you can reduce the overwhelming nature of looming deadlines. Moreover, we'll introduce effective time management techniques to combat procrastination. The Pomodoro Technique, Time Blocking, and Prioritization Strategies can help structure your workday, increase focus, and foster a sense of accomplishment. Let's bid farewell to the procrastination pitfall and welcome a more proactive and efficient approach to tasks. Additionally, we'll explore the psychological aspects of motivation and how understanding the intricacies of intrinsic and extrinsic motivation can play a pivotal role in overcoming procrastination. By aligning tasks with personal values and finding genuine interest in the work, you can transform procrastination into a catalyst for meaningful accomplishments. Five. The Social Media Detox Fantasy A digital detox, it sounds refreshing, right? Yet we often find ourselves glued to our screens despite our promises to take a break. What makes it so hard to disconnect? And how can we strike a balance between our online and offline lives? Ah, the allure of a digital detox, a promise we make while scrolling through social media. Let's unravel the reasons behind our screen time addiction and explore strategies for a healthier relationship with our devices. We'll delve into the psychology of social media engagement. From the dopamine hit of notifications to the fear of missing out, FO Animo. We'll explore the emotional triggers that keep us tethered to our screens and discuss practical ways to mitigate them. Mindful social media usage is about finding equilibrium rather than complete abstinence. We'll provide tips on establishing boundaries such as setting specific time limits, designating device-free zones, and cultivating offline hobbies. By incorporating these strategies, you can foster a healthier digital lifestyle without completely disconnecting from the online world. Additionally, we'll explore the benefits of periodic digital detoxes and how they can contribute to improved mental well-being. From increased mindfulness to enhanced creativity, 
we'll uncover the positive impacts of balancing our online and offline experiences. Let's transform the social media detox fantasy into a sustainable and mindful approach to our digital lives. If you've ever found yourself in these situations, you're not alone. Let's build a community of support. Hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and share your own experiences in the comments below. And don't forget to check out our other videos for tips on personal development and lifestyle. So, there you have it. Five things we often say we'll do, but struggle to make a reality.